Hello and welcome. This is Elims HK of Swaz Projects. You are welcome to this video. I'll be showing you how to add your Pioneer Banking details to your Amazon Kindle Publishing account, which is the KDP. And as well, in this video, I will show you how to answer your task. Uh, your task question to avoid being uh, the 30 percent transition when you don't reside in the united states so if you're new to this channel please do well to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when i do videos that has to do with amazon affiliate marketing and the amazon kindle publishing if it comes to amazon this is the channel for you i take you through amazon affiliate marketing i take you through the kdp so once it comes to you know you want to leverage amazon stay on this channel just subscribe so any videos that are false in these categories you will be the first to get notified so without further ado let's just get started with adding our premier banking details to our amazon kindle publishing account and as well how to fill out the task information so let's take on that so taking up with that like once you go to your kdp.amazon.com and you hit that it is the interface that will come up for you let me you have started your sign up process you have done you've opened your amazon account and you your you are signing up the kdp accounts maybe you get stocks where you were asked to um put in your receiving account details or i am um, how to we are to, how to fill out your task information uh, your task information so that is just the uh, step i want to take now so let's just go well at this point maybe uh, you just come here and you go to sign in once i sign in like i have signed in already before i came back to this point so the signing is still fresh my login is still on it so once you sign in at this point what you see if you've not completed your registration what you see at this point is to publish a book you will need to complete this update so you go to this update or oh, there is another way to do that that's if you've not entered your receiving uh, account that's your pioneer account or any other account you want to use to receive this money i prefer the pioneer or just use the pioneer that's just what i can tell you if you're in nigeria so you don't if you are in nigeria or just any country outside the united states use the pioneer so it's, it's easier for you to withdraw to a local bank account so if it's either i go to update now or you go to your account any of them you click on will take you to the same point so let me just hit as update now if i hit that update now once it comes up with the update now you notice that maybe you left it at this point but i'm just starting at this point so that for those that will just start from this point you just know what to do and you go to enter your bank your receiving account details but for you if you have over uh, if you've passed this list just push the video to the point where you enter your receiving account information so i'm opening an account as an individual so what's the next thing i will do i will enter my date of birth so once you click on that please i'll be covering some sensitive information in recent time youtube has been uh, youtube has been taking down some of my videos the reason being that i display personal information a lot so please i'll be covering some of the information you're seeing here so there is nothing there at your end you just it's just the same thing i'm doing here you will see so that is it on this i've entered my date of birth your country region is I'm in Nigeria, so I'm entering Nigeria. But for your own country, you can just enter whatever country you are in. Just enter the country you are in. So your legal name, I will enter my legal name. So my legal name, I will enter my legal name, my address. That one is automatic. I've filled out my address. So you enter your own this is just a straightforward thing my target is just to go and add the pioneer bank details and fill out my task information this part you can just do them on your own there is no thing difficult about this part so you can just follow up it's just direct questions that nobody needs to you answer those questions yourself you know yourself better than any other person so having filled out that personal uh, part so i will now head over to because if you don't fill up this part this uh, main part this first part now there's no way they will not open up this getting paid um, area for you so once i filled up that part i'll now come down to this getting paid on this getting paid you say provide your banking information to receive your electronic reality payment so where you receive your earnings per day, uh, per day 
uh, sorry per month per period as it is but if you have done this for amazon affiliates please you still need to do it for amazon kdp like somebody was asking if you have viewed your buying uh, receiving information on amazon affiliate marketing please you can you still do it for kdp since they, they are just of the they are just they, even if they are owned by the same uh, amazon but they are of different sections so please do well so once you come down to this place you see where is your bank where is your bank please don't bother yourself putting nigeria it will not work so what you just do is to come down to united states and click on united states so there is a space for you to enter your bank account number because the pioneer will give you united states account they will give you a canadian uh, canadian account they will give you the euro they will give you the british pounds account so any of the account that is given to you this is where you will enter it but for me i'm using my united states account given to me by pioneer so but if you don't have a pioneer account and you want to open uh, to create a pioneer account for yourself please check in my channel you will see a video that i've made on um, uh, creating uh, how to create a pioneer account in nigeria just type how to create a pioneer account at the end of it you type swas project you will see the video will, will be there on your screen so just watch it and know how to create a pioneer account for yourself so as well once i've entered the stage you see enter account holder's name so i now need to go and open my pioneer account and i'll just pick this information and fill out here okay now i've opened my i've logged into my pioneer so i'll just come to once you log into your own pioneer you come to ba uh, bank and cards so once i hit as bank cards it will bring me to a section just hit at receiving account so on your receiving account you see all the how all the accounts you have with pioneer like i have my my own account i have um the um you, uh, the gbp i have the jpy i have the japanese yen those do these ones are serving me so I, uh, I don't need any other one so once i click on this the details of this account will come out so this is what i will copy the details here and add it over on um uh, my kindle account so the first thing they asked of here is my account holder's name this name is not here i'm the one that just pasted it i, I just copied it from this point here and i pasted it over but please let me show you one thing once you come to this point please leave it as check-ins don't go for savings come for check-ins just pick on check-ins your account type is check-ins like you have see it on pioneer your account type account type is check-ins don't put any other thing there so once i come to this point again i will see accounts number i will head over to pioneer head over to play here you see my account number is there i will copy it and i will paste it as well then say the enter the account number i will see paste it again then the routing number or what did they call it the you see routing apa number so i'll just copy it as well i'll come over to my kendo i will paste it that is just how simple it is so once i have done all that i check is correct like i showed you please don't go to savings use check-ins your account number your routing number and that is just how simple that can be so just forget everything you're seeing here you just click on add so once i do that i have added my see your you are a step to receive your payments uh, for sales across all amazon marketplaces so this bank account i've added is a gateway for me to receive all earnings from this that just one thing about kdp you're not just receiving from the united states or the uh, the countries listed here about 15 of them you'll be receiving earnings from them so long you have uh, products that serves those countries you will receive royalties from them that is just one thing about kdp i would like so if you're not interested in it please dig deep and find your way through um having one so you can see having completed that uh, my pioneer um entering my pioneer account details you can now see the task information has been highlighted so that is just it let's continue with uh, filling out our task information so the uh, pioneer details is just as simple as you saw it there so i hit as my task information you see continue without saving save and continue i will go to save and continue so that i will go to the next phase which is entering my task information you can see my the interface for 
uh, filling out my task information has opened so i'll just scroll down and you see what is your task classification now you an individual as uh, for okay i'll use an individual because that is as what i started with are you a u.s citizen u.s permanent resident green card holder whatever please i will typically say no because i don't have any of those criteria because if you fall for them your 30 percent is at stake they will be collecting it at every um, payment that is a normal thing because you if you say yes you that means you work or reside in the united states i don't work in the united states i don't reside there so this is just what i will do are you acting as an intermediary agent or to no i'm not acting as an intermediary agent i am myself so once i do that i come back again task and education information age i've entered my name country of citizenship i am a nigerian sorry i once i'm a nigerian so once i hit that end i will just come down and pick my country okay and my address is there already so there's nothing to do there and um, that is just it i have a you know i have a non-us thing i don't even have the country where i am is okay let me just use i have a a non-us thing and the number i just put there is just let me just say this but i know it is not i don't have the thing but i just want to feel all righteousness um okay let me complete that let me use this okay once i have entered if you have a team number you, you enter it but for me i don't have i just entered any number that comes to my head there so i'll just hit as continue they will not reject it it is just they will not reject it so because we don't have that database that will tell them it is a wrong number i've entered so in as much as i've done that but there is nothing black out about it it's a normal process if you have yours you enter if you don't have just leave it, leave it and continue but there's a place where you can hit the country but i don't want to say that because nigeria definitely has so country of residence is nigeria i will leave it at nigeria i will confirm so once i confirm you do not appear to be eligible for the treaty benefits okay so i will still come down and all this i will see all that i satisfy that i have the capacity to sign for the person identified on the line okay i have the capacity i will hit at that then i will just type my name in full I will, once i do that that is just how simple it is so you can read all this if you have the time to read that but that is just how simple you can fill out your past information so i'll just save and preview to ensure the information i entered uh, is correct so like you're not a, a u.s you are a u.s no you're not a do not use this form if you are not an individual uh, mm, but i'm an individual that was why i had to fill out those forms and all that so that is it i will go through them i will go through that and um, everything i entered i know is correct so that is just how simple it is and i will hit that submit form boom everything about my account your tax has been received successfully applicable withholding rates so they will not they don't have anything uh, to, to do, do with, with my they don't have anything to do with uh withholding um at 30 percent from my income so everything is complete so that is just it so you can see the information here are now indicating that i've completed them my tax information everything my payment details everything has uh, been completed so that is just how it is so i will just say for the last time success and that is it so if that is about all this so do well to subscribe if you're just um, joining me for the first time please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when i do videos that have to do amazon affiliate marketing or amazon kendo publishing if you see my video on amazon kendo publishing you don't be surprised because i guess this will be the second a uh, video i'm doing on kdp i don't just rush into doing videos is when i get results i will share with you so see you next time bye